chapter 3, lesson 4, is mental subtraction. So again, the thought process when it's mental subtraction, we have to write horizontally. So in this case, it's actually okay to subtract from left to right. Now, the approach of the book is a little bit complicated. So again, I offer my own version of how to do mental subtraction. So the problems that we will be doing will be on page 70. So the thought process when we do mental subtraction will be very similar to the thought process when we do mental addition. So we will look at the ones place and see if this needs to be regrouped. If there's no regrouping needed, then the difference of this we will add to the difference of the tens. So example, 80 minus 50 is 30. And then that would give us 8 minus 5 is 3. So our answer here will be 33. So since there's no regrouping needed with the ones, we add the difference. So similarly, if we look at here, 6 and 4 does not need regrouping. So since we don't need regrouping, we start first by subtracting the tens. So 90 minus 40 is 50. And we add 6 minus 2 is 4, giving us 54. So in the next problem, if we look at this, we cannot subtract. So since we cannot subtract, we're going to have to borrow. Okay, but we can't borrow mentally. So the way that we're going to do it is instead of a plus, it's going to be a minus. So this is how we do 70 minus 20 is 50. Then minus that 8 minus 0 is 8. Okay, so when we do, this gives us 42. Okay, so again, uh, we need to train our kids so that they'll be able to see that if you, can, if you need to regroup, you're going to have to subtract. Here we add. Okay, finally, if we look at the last problem, if we take the 5 minus the 9, that needs regrouping. So, which means instead of a plus, it will be a minus. So, we start with the tens. 40 minus 10 is 30. And then we take 9 minus 5 is 4. So, when we take 4 away from 30, that would give us 26. So, again, parents, when it's mental subtraction, what we want to do is we don't want to change the order that it's written. It has to be horizontal. We first look at the ones digit. If the ones digit does not need regrouping, that means its difference we add to the difference of the tens. But if the ones digits need regrouping, what we do is we subtract that difference from the difference of the tens. That concludes lesson 4 of chapter 3, which means it also concludes the whole module. See you in the next module.